Buenos dias, hello everyone. This is Glenn Urban, Herb Spanish, and this is a video about creating a test. Um, and you don't want the students to basically see their final score. I believed that you could control that in the settings, uh, as far as in Schoology, and then being able to go down here where it says uh, View Submissions, and you would just mark No. But I quickly found out that that was not the case. One of my teachers actually said, Oh, a student can actually see their final score and I don't want them to be able to see that. There's, that could happen for a variety of different reasons. So we can't control it there with resumable. We can't check mark this thing where it says hide point values because all that's hiding is the point values of the specific question. So if you wanted to go ahead and uh, do that. So then how do you go about basically making sure that the students can't see their final score? I have a way to be able to go ahead and do that. But first I'm going to go ahead and show you both the uh, on the student side even though I marked my settings and made sure that disabled their submissions or disabled their uh, ability to be able to see and hear uh, view submissions they can still see their final score so I'm going to show you that first and then we're going to go back in and to the test and add one thing to make sure to prevent them from seeing that final score I'll be back with you in just one bit so I'm logged in as my high school sample student right now and I went ahead and took this uh, quiz um, and I got a four out of five over here. Though I can't see the correct answers because I check marked that thing, I can't go back and look at the questions, but I can still see that final score and that is a problem, especially when we're talking about specific types of tests where you don't want to even reveal the scores. So how do we prevent that from happening? I'll be right back and show you. So. What you're going to do is on your test here, uh, multiple choice, true and false, those kinds of auto graded kind of tests, is you're going to add a question at the very end. Now, don't worry about uh, whether or not you add it as a point value or anything like that. It could just basically be a short answer or an essay question. That's what you're going to put here. And you can even just say, uh, what is, type your name, something like that. Um, and you can give it a point value if you want. You can even make it zero points. I'm going to make it just worth one point because in the end, I'm going to delete that and then save. And then it's going to populate all those responses and the students are going to be able to see that. But because this requires me to go in and actually grade it, the students will not be able to see their final score. So I'm going to show you that in just a bit. I'm going to say create this question. It's going to be worth one point. It's called type your name and it's at the end there. It's a subjective question, so it requires me grading it. So now I'm going to go back in as the student. I've already deleted the score here. Let's see the results. I deleted the high school student here uh, as far as their score. And then now I'm going to log back in as the student and then take the test and then see if it reveals a score to me. Be right back. So I'm back in my high school sample student account and a couple of things I want you to look at. First, right here it says you have attempted this assessment and you've reached the one uh, attempt maximum allowed. But over here is the most important part. It says gray, the grade is actually not available because it requires my teacher to go in and basically fix that question. So what do you do in the very end as the teacher? You go through and that last question, you're gonna delete it, and you're gonna press save. And then at that point in time, it will populate all of the students' final grades when you are ready to go ahead and reveal those answers. If you have any questions, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista.